guys and welcome back to cooking with claire today i'm going to be showing you guys how to make funnel cake and for those who like to eat funnel cake plain i'm going to show you how to make it plain but for those of you who like strawberries and whipped cream on top i'm going to show you how to make that and it all starts out with some strawberries so i have some strawberries that i washed and this is about seven strawberries in here and what you want to do is cut the tops off and you want to cut your strawberry up like this. And put it inside of your container. So I have about a tablespoon and a half of sugar. And when you add sugar into fresh fruit, it begins to break the fruit down and makes like a syrup. So you want to take that sugar and mix it around inside of your strawberries. Now we're going to set that off to the side. Next you want to start with your wet ingredients. And that is one fourth cup of milk, half teaspoon of vanilla, and one egg. And you want to mix this up. All right, after you mix this up, you want to add in your dry ingredients. So to, to this, you want to add one half cup of all-purpose flour, one tablespoon of sugar, and I put a pinch of salt in there. And I have three-fourth teaspoons of baking powder. Now you want to sift those ingredients in. Now you want to mix this up. Now that this is mixed, we're going to set this off to the side. All right, guys. So while our oil is waiting to heat up, I'm going to show you guys how to make a quick and easy Cool Whip topping. So you want to start out with one cup of heavy cream and you want to make sure all of your stuff is cold. Like I've had this bowl in the freezer for about 30 minutes and I also put the beaters inside of the freezer too because you want to make sure everything is cold. So you want that one cup of cream and I have one and a half tablespoons of confectioner sugar and about one teaspoon of vanilla and you want to start on low just to mix all your ingredients up together and go ahead to high so this is our ready guys and you see it's nice and firm peaks and it's nice and thick so i'm going to put this in the refrigerator while we go over to the stove and cook up our funnel cakes so you guys can just take that batter that we had and i'm going to just pour it inside of a measuring cup if you actually have the funnel for your funnel cake batter that's okay but if you don't putting your batter into a measuring cup will work the same way all right guys so i put my chopstick in And as you can see, little bubbles coming up off the chopstick. So our oil is ready. So what you want to do is take your batter and pour it in. And you want to pour it in slowly. And when you're pouring it in, you want to make sure you're just crossing paths with other pieces of funnel cake. Because if you don't layer the funnel cake, it's going to fall apart. 
So you see how this drizzle down in there like that? That's what you're looking for. And you're going to let this fry up until it's a nice golden brown. Let me give it a check. Alright guys, so it's a nice golden brown. So I'm going to go in and give this a flip. So as you see guys, this is nice and golden brown. So we're going to let it cook on the other side. And I have a cooling rack lined with some um, paper towels. So when I pull this off, I'm just going to let it sit on the paper towel for a couple of seconds to get some of that oil off. And then we're going to plate it up because you want to plate your, you want to plate your funnel cake up while it's still hot. Get out of look. So we're going to go ahead and take this out. Drain that extra grease off like that. And I'm going to put it on my paper towel. I'm going to go ahead and make another one. And while this one is going, we're going to go ahead and plate up the one that we just made. Alright guys, so there's that funnel cake that we just made. So what you want to do is take some powdered sugar and put that on your funnel cake like that. Next you want to take some of that Cool Whip that we made or whipped cream that we made and put that on top like that. Lastly, we have those strawberries and as you can and as you can see that sugar has melted and it made like a nice beautiful syrup. So we're going to take some of these strawberries and put them on top. Arrange them like this. Now you want to take some of that syrup that we have and drizzle it around like that over top and that's how you make funnel cake guys there you go i hope you guys enjoyed this recipe if so don't forget to give it a big thumbs up like, share, subscribe, and put on your post notifications so you know when I upload new videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!